Today, in the Friday finish, we're going to talk about capacitors and their markings. Good afternoon. Hope you're well and have had a great week. I've got a cold. My name's Marcus. And you're watching the Friday finish. Oh, right, let's get into... I've got a cold. So sorry, I'll be... I'll be supping out of my Abbey Road mug all afternoon. So uh, apologise about the voice. Anyway, let's get into this uh, capacitor, the riveting uh, subject of capacitor markings. Um, it sounds a really boring, boring, boring thing, but I can remember when I started, it was like, what the hell? Everywhere you looked for explanations about them was all done by nerds, like bigger nerds than me. And they didn't really take into consideration that you might not understand what they're writing. So I'm going to try and do it in as uh, simple a terms as possible um, and try and kind of take away all the confusion and mystery and all those bits and pieces. So, OK, let's let's start at the top. Um Hold on, let me get to my notes first. There are two types of markings. There are two groups of markings. Uh, one is the uh, what, 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 we, what we call the actual value marking. And another is the, sh what, the short code, a more recent uh, kind of um, version of marking called short code, which is generally on smaller capacitors. Um, before I go on to ex describe about those, one thing that I need to caveat all this with is the, a lot of the reason behind marking formats goes back to when printing was a little bit more primitive um, than it is now, and they weren't able to resolve small letters and, and small things, so they'd have to kind of um, you know work a way around it. And secondly to that, there is such a vast uh, range of va sorry, I'm off the screen. Such a vast, that big, such a vast range of ratings that you'd be looking at seven, six, seven zeros that you'd have to count, and that would be a problem in uh, schematics and circuit diagrams and things as well as on the on the marking. So. They had to kind of think of an interesting way, not an interesting way, but a, a, a way of shortening all the numerical values down. Um, so let's talk about um, actual value first. So when you look at a capacitor, such as this one, I'll try and get it in focus. Um, you can see there that it has an actual value. So it is what we're looking at is this part here one uf this is the this here k is the um that's a percentage accuracy so i think this is a 20 percent plus or minus okay um this is just the the type the manufacturer type uh and this is the voltage rating um we won't talk about voltage ratings today because in guitar pedals that doesn't really make a difference to the in amplifiers um it's much more important in guitar pedals as long as it's over as long as it's twice the amount that's going in so if it's a if it's nine volt pedal then really you need minimum 18 i prefer to, to be honest i put 35s in minimum just to be sure okay so we're talking about this part here, one UF. So this is a one UF capacitor. So as I mentioned uh, a second ago, um, we are looking at, in guitar pedals, we use microfarads, which is usually denoted as UF for some reason. Don't ask me why. So we have UF, then we have nanofarads, NF, and picofarads. Right. PF. Okay, so each one of these is to the factor of a thousand less. So if you have a 1UF, 
you'd have 1000 nf or 1 million pf so you wouldn't if you had a 1 uf you wouldn't go marking up 1 million pf because you have to count all the zeros and there would be a lot of space and and conversely pf picofarad uh, components are much much smaller they're tiny or well, they can be um so this is why they split them into three sub kind of brackets if you like now some manufacturers did decide for some reason to kind of jump a little bit up and down the scales um, so what you would often find is that NF and PF especially are marked up so say you had okay, let's let's look at, at 4.7 nanofarad capacitor okay now going back to actually uh, uh, an aside here going back to the issues that there were with printing very often the uh, decimal point would be a problem to resolve so people might in the factories and uh, whatever might see that as 47 nf so very often it would have been marked up as 4 n7 and putting the unit in the middle also denoted the decimal point this is also done with resistors so you have a resistor that is 4 k7 and that would mean 4.7 okay so that's an aside a lot of manufacturers do mark up nf stuff so that would be 4700 pf um, sometimes you find it going the opposite way as well so that with um, this would be Usually when they're kind of in the mid-range of, of nanofarads, they can go the other way. So this would be uh, naught point zero. Oh, God, I'm doing my brain in now. Uh, zero, zero, four, seven, zero, zero, four, seven, UF. Um, so, yeah, mid-range uh, nanofarad can sometimes be marked up either side either in uh uf or pf uh, so that is kind of short form marking uh, sorry long form marking uh, actual values the last thing as i mentioned earlier on um there are uh letters sometimes after these um you know you often have have a j or a k after them which basically means the um, the accuracy of the capacitor plus or minus 10 plus or minus 20 percent now just remember that uh, with 20 percent that's not a change of 20 percent plus or minus that's a possible change of 40 percent so plus 20 or minus 20 okay so that's almost half the range of the capacitor sometimes so uh, it's quite important to measure your capacitors if you're buying low accuracy um, because capacitors don't come super accurate you one percent uh, in resistors but generally 10% or 20% is the uh, is the kind of accepted accuracy so you need to be able to measure them we're going to measuring those in another episode uh, measuring components um, that's a long um, these came into uh, kind of prevalence as uh, components you know increasingly decreased in so increasingly decreased uh, in size if I can get into this flipping thing um, so generally in picofarad units but more recently um, they become even more important really um, due to the SMT revolution so you know that's a, a standard 
format, not SMT. I haven't got. I don't use them. So, but you can see the difference in sizes. So, the need to actually find a, a more efficient way of marking them, you know, became important. Has become steadily more important. Um, so, short code. Right. So. Let, let's it, it, all short code is based on the pick a farad unit um, so you have to multiply it all up so let's for instance let's say we have we found a unit and it's got four seven zero or we've got a schematic that calls for a four seven zero capacitor now the way to read these is they are marked up uh, or they split up the first two letters denotes the value and the so not letters numbers first two numbers denote the value the third number is the multiplier so it's literally that is the number of zeros that you need to add on so this would be 47 and zero zeros so that's 47 pf if we had uh, if we had something uh sorry if we had something with 472 on there for instance that would be oh my brain 4700 two zeros Okay, so that would be 47,000 picofarads. Now, as we explained earlier, there's a thousand nanofarads, a thousand picofarads in a nanofarad. So that would be 4.7 nF. And so on up to 4.75 would be four seven one two three four five that's a lot of zero so you don't want to mark it up like that um so consequently that works out to four seven four point seven uf and so on so you'll find these markings more predominantly on smt units but also on smaller capacitors as well um it's pretty simple once you got your head around it so uh thank you for watching um i'm sorry if it's a little bit disjointed today my brain's a little bit gumbo it's um with this cold um i'll be back to my well my usual rambling form next week i hope um thank you so much for your support um it's uh really interesting to see how things are taking off with this channel and uh, the interest it's getting over on Instagram. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it helps me uh, get spread across more and more people to uh, impart a little bit of knowledge. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, my name is Marcus. This is Reeves Electro. That was a Friday finish. And remember... Keep it fuzzy.